Success is the child of hard work and perseverance. Pay the price and it will be yours. William Harry Hudson once said, You cannot fly like an eagle on the wings of a wren. These words apply, aptly describe our late comrade and compatriot, the Venerable Enoch Tei Mensah, a.k.a. E.T. Mensah. He was a man who was born to fly like an eagle and naturally flew with eagles. In E.T., the NBC struck gold, a treasure trove that was almost inexhaustible. The man was cut from a different mold from most men. He had passion, he had vision, and he was a perpetual bundle of energy, mental, physical, and intellectual. He was untiring and unrelenting in his pursuit of whatever goals or objectives he set himself. And that passion paved the way to this spectacular success. In life. To say that E.T. was successful in his lifetime is only to repeat the obvious, a banal truth that also becomes a boring one. The man was success personified. As a professional accountant, he started from a humble beginning at Snaps College of Accountancy, where he graduated with RSA 2 in 1970. E.T. then rose to become a colossus in the field of accountancy. He was a fellow of the Institute of Financial Accountants in 1986, a fellow of good standing in the Institute of Administrative Accountants, a member of the National Association of Public Accountants, and a member of the Institute of Public Accounts, Australia. The E.T. Mensa of renown, however, became a household word when he entered into the world of politics. In a world that makes, but mostly a mix, it is seemed to have found in politics the antidote to political failure. His zeal for hard work and diligence, and coupled with a versatility that is almost rare in most people, made him outstanding in almost everything he attempted. It was a vibrant political figure and like a meteorite, he shot into a limelight and shone almost continuously till his own light, light dimmed and he bowed out in grace and not in disgrace. E.T., the indefatigable politician, was a mayor, a member of parliament, a minister, and a member of the Council of State. In all these roles, he was a trailblazer, effortlessly charting a path that many find honorable. It all started in 1982, when E.T. was appointed as mayor of Accra by the PNC under Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Roberts, a man of many parts and a man for all seasons that he was. E.T. transformed the metropolis into an enviable giant. In his 10 years as mayor, he laid the architecture of the modern city of Accra as we have it today. It is served in several leadership positions in government, parliament, and the NDC. From the position of Metropolitan Chief Executive of Accra, the then President Flight Lieutenant Rawlings appointed him as Deputy Secretary for Youth and Sports, and later as the Substantive Minister of Youth and Sports. It is things with the Sports Ministry also began the renaissance of sports, especially soccer in Ghana. He left very strong and indelible footprints in the sons of sport in Ghana. The NDC is proud of the man who introduced professional football in the Premier League, sports policy and sponsorship programs for sports in the country. His era as a chief sportsman is one many people look back on with fond memories. A man like E.T. is impossible to be tied down to one minister. From sports, E.T. also served as the Minister of Water Resources and later Works and Housing under the late President J.E. Mills. 
Our E.T. was not only a minister, he was also a lawmaker, and in 1996, he became elected as an MP for Ningo Pram Pram, and he diligently served in that position for five consecutive terms, a total of 20 years. Success, they say, is his own reward, and E.T. was rewarded as such. Wherever he found himself, he shone with a brilliance that was beguiling in Parliament. It is served in various leadership positions, including being the whip for the caucus in Parliament. His love for the NDC is unimaginable. It was a founding national youth organizer of the party for about 10 years, between 1992 to 2002. He was a superb organizer and helped to mobilize for the party's victory in 1992, 1996, and again in the year 2000. One of his landmark achievements was the compilation of Let's We Forget, a pamphlet detailing the achievements of the PNDC. Needless to say, the pamphlet was pivotal in NDC's subsequent organizational programs and victories. It also rose to become a national vice chair of the NDC. He was indeed a phenomenon. The man was truly amazing. Who says one tree cannot make a forest? Iti Mensah was a one-man forest, often misunderstood and yet still admired. Iti was one of the three wise men appointed by former President John Mahama. Together with Speaker Babin and Honorable Avoka, the three wise men were tasked to supervise selected ministries. It crested the pinnacle of political success. When even in opposition, he contested and won the position of Council of State member for the Greater Accra region. It is commitment and loyalty to the NDC were unflinching and uncompromising. There are those who thought that his election as a Council of State member was a betrayal to the NDC. Little did they know that before he contested the position, it immensely consulted the party and the then General Secretary, my predecessor, Honorable Johnson and Ketia, not only gave him the green line to contest, but actually encouraged him to do so. Against all odds, E.T. won the seat until his timely demise. He remained a strong and committed member of the NDC. Needless to say, he left a gaping hole in the party, which would take time and effort to fill. Even as we mourn him, we also celebrate him, for he was truly a great man for all seasons. You'll be sorely missed. Fare thee well, comrade, till we meet again in the great beyond. Rest in perfect peace.